Hey guys, hope you enjoyed my last video on how to edit cinematic photos, and I ended up recording a few more examples, so I thought I'd make a bonus content video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up for the algorithms, I would really appreciate that. And stick around to the end to see the before and afters. All right, let's get into it. Let's take a look at this one real quick. This one, she's got my, my daughter here. She's got a smile um, and it's you've got a lot of bright sunlight in the background. And you know how I was talking about shooting tips. Uh, you know, when we're going for moody, the smiling doesn't tend to kind of correlate. So let's try this real quick. And so here's here's the image straight out of camera. And so step one, cropping, we're gonna skip that step obviously because it's a vertical. And then step two, we're gonna bring the exposure down. Bring it down. Yeah, let's try there. And then kind of protect the highlight and adjust the contrast. Ah, there you go. S stupid curve thing. And don't worry about the face right now. Uh, we can kind of bring that up separately. Right now I'm adjusting for the overall look first, um, particularly in the, the background um, to make it more cinematic in the background first. And then with the brush, you can kind of bring the face back up. And like I said before, you know, you want to go subtle. You don't want to go too extreme where you start to see the halo, um, but maybe not even the exposure, but more of just bringing out the shadow. And for cinematic styling, you're going to, you know, you're not going to bring it up to normal, but you're just going to bring it up enough to see the, the details that you need. Maybe that's even a little too much. And then uh, desaturate. Bring up the shadows a little bit more. Little, introduce a little bit of the green and a little warmth to it. All right, so here's a quick edit in terms of cinematic style editing to this image, but it just looks a little bit off. You know, this isn't an obvious thing, but just because it's more moody and um, she's smiling here, that, that kind of dichotomy throws you a little bit off. It kind of works a little bit better when the facial and the emotions match the lighting and the overall feel of the image. So let's go ahead and copy all of these edits um, that I just did to this image and apply to this image, which is shot right there, the same setting, same scene. And here you have no smiling and it looks more, there's more of a storyline to this, more cinematic, if you will. Uh, so let's go ahead and crop first. Let's do the crop first just for better effect. Okay, so let's apply uh, the edits that we did to this, to this image where there's no smiling. And there you go. It already, we can even bring down uh, the shadows even more and make it moodier. And now that there's no smiling in this scene, it looks more, uh, it matches a little bit better, although it does, now that I'm looking at it, it does kind of give a more, uh, a weird feeling to it. Um, if you would see this kind of lighting in this uh, scene in a movie, for example, you would kind of get a, uh, an offset. <laughs> this is a different kind of offsetting. It kind of conveys a little bit of a feel of like, something's about to go wrong. I don't know, maybe just avoid babies altogether. <laughs> Here's another image. Here is the original. And we'll go through the steps real quick. Step one, crop. Let's do a two by one crop. Bring it in a little bit. Okay, step two, exposure. Bring that exposure down and Let's go ahead and do our curve real quick. Uh, again, this annoying Lightroom curve. Um, okay, let's adjust the contrast by the midtones and the shadows. And I'm okay with the black point staying there. No fading needed. And then immediately it's just um, it's just too orange for me. So let's de oh, I'm sorry. Let's desaturate first. 
um, and maybe a little bit more. It's still a little bit too warm, and so we'll tone it down a little bit and then add in just the subtle greenness to it. Actually, I don't think this really needs the green. Yeah, the green gives you a little bit a weird feel, so keep that as is. All right, so that's kind of a quick, quick and dirty. Um, it looks like it has a lot of noise in there already, so you know you don't have to add the green if you don't want to. Um, let's see what it would look like if you did. All right, so let me adjust the crop a little bit more. So this is a nice storytelling uh, feel to this image right here. You know, just a mom giving her kid a bath uh, in a very nice looking rustic bathroom. And one final image. Let's take a look at this real quick. Here's a shot out on a farm. The sun had just set over the horizon. And so step one, let's do the crop. Let's do it two by one. And then step two, bring the exposure down. Not too much. Yeah, right about there. And then go to the curves, protect the highlight. Let's bring up just enough detail. And you can see most of the data is, is down here again. Ugh, this stupid thing. And so we can bring the shadows down, but we're going to move the midtones. Um, it's really shadow, but relatively the midtones is going to be more down here. It's still looking a little bit dark here, so uh, let's go ahead and bring up a little bit more detail. Okay, and then, and then bring up some shadow as well. Not too much. Okay, but you can see it's balancing out a little bit more. Um, and I think there's a little bit too much contrast, so let's bring back the contrast a little bit. And it's too saturated, so let's go ahead and desaturate that. Looks nice there. Bring in some vibrance for the skin tones just a little bit. And then let's uh, bring in some green tint to it just a little bit. It's looking a little too green there. And then we can warm it up with the white balance. And I think it's still looking a little bit too green, so we'll bring back, we'll dial back the tint a little bit. And then for this image, uh, I think I might want to introduce uh, some split toning in the shadow. Bring up the warmth. Ooh, that looks nice. And here's the extreme version of it. So again, let's do subtle movements, subtle adjustments. And here's the before and after for that split toning. Very subtle, very subtle, but it just kind of gives that little bit of warmth feeling to it. And then last step, add some green. Oh yeah, um, this, how did I forget this? Uh, her snack cup right here is obviously just sticking out too much. So you can either grab this slider and just kind of click there and slide it down. And you don't want to do it too much. You know, we can still show to, that it's pink, but if you desaturate all the way, it just looks weird with this gray, right? We'll just basically reduce the, the effectiveness of that pink, but we'll still show that it's pink. And here's the before and after, and you can kind of see that, yeah, nothing else in the image is really being affected. So that's kind of a quick and dirty way to do that. If this were a super detailed edit, um, I would take this into Photoshop and make paths for this color and desaturate or even shift the colors that way. Uh, but for Lightroom, it does a good enough job uh, to do it quickly. All right, so that's a nice edit here. Uh, looks very cinematic to me. For a quick edit, I'm happy with that. Here's the before and here's the after. 
Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to hit subscribe and give that thumbs up if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more content on photography and the business of photography. Till next time.